The image of troops at rice distribution centers is fast becoming a regular sight in Asia. Many countries, including the Philippines, are struggling with soaring prices. Here's the full story. In the Philippines, where rice is a national staple, prices have jumped up 30% from a year ago. The Southeast Asian nation consumes about 33 tons of rice a day. The country is grappling with tight supplies and soaring global prices. Fox News alert on the world food supplies. We have been tracking this story for a few days now, and it is getting quite some attention. Food supplies getting very tight. And on the commodity markets, food prices soaring to levels never before seen. It has been gradually showing up in our supermarkets, and you're going to pay for it in your pocketbook. And Fox Business Network's Eric Bowling has been warning about this and now says it could get much worse. We, did, we, we had you on two yeah, weeks ago. Remember these? The yeah, remember this? And it's happening. What, what, what exactly is happening globally that is affecting us in our local supermarket? Yeah, we're having a, uh, like a confluence of bad things going on right now. Our, our supplies are already low in, in, of food, corn, rice, coffee, sugar, wheat. Supplies low. Now we're finding out the USDA tells us that, guess what, the, the crops that we're expecting to come out in the next, uh, at least the two harvests, may be light as well, which means prices are on the rise, all coupled with, I don't know if you watch it, at the bottom of the screen once in a while you see an oil price go by, um, $92 a barrel, 91.48 right now as we speak, those prices are going up. Here's the issue, Megan, when corn prices went up, when rice and wheat prices went up two years ago in 2008, it sparked food riots. Now, that was on the heels of a $147 barrel of oil, $4 gasoline. We're only, when I say only, I mean only in relationship to $147, we are only at $92 a barrel. If we were to go back to $147 a barrel like last time, that would push all these prices 60% higher. That's a big problem because these prices are high right now on the wholesale level. They're making their way to the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. And, and the thing is, they're, they're not only talking about higher prices, which, right. is, which is a big enough concern, but they're also talking, the World Economic Forum apparently warning that a rising global population, uh, greater prosperity, are putting unsustainable pressure on resources. And they say, yep. Eric, we could be looking at the specter of shortages, which could lead to social, political instability, geopolitical conflict, and irreparable environmental damage. I mean, this is something that could affect us on, a, on, on, on many levels. Not, not could, will affect us. You see this, I'm holding up rice right here, because in 2008, when oil went to $147 a barrel, rice prices spiked to $25 per 100 metric tons. They're right now around 20. If we were to see that again last time, the food riots that you saw on the side of the screen a little while ago would be would pale in comparison this time because people aren't as well off. The last time this happened was on the heels of a very robust world economy. We're not there right now.